Alright. Hey. Well, he's not president. <laughs> Let's have a look at uh, Bernoulli distributions. <laughs> what are you on, mate? <laughs> Let's focus, please. Thank you very much. He's on what Sagas takes. <laughs> I'm on what? It's uh, the Bernoulli distribution. It's <laughs> exactly like guys in my opinion, it's a unique type of uh, or special one of a discrete random variable because there are only two outcomes. All right? This one, only two outcomes. So the outcome is either success or failure, that's all. All right? So you should, by the end of the lesson, understand the situation with two possible outcomes as Bernoulli distributed random variables with probability of success and failure only. So either it's yes or no, failure or pass, uh, or, or success, or on or off, that sort of stuff. All right, so only two possible outcomes. Cannot be three, cannot be four. So you should be able to identify context suitable for modeling by Bernoulli random variable. Be able to construct a probability histogram from a Bernoulli random variable and be able to generalize the mean and variance for Bernoulli uh, distribution. Now, let's have a look at these three situations. You walk in the room, flip the light switch, on or off only. There's no other outcome, right? Mm -hmm. You flip a coin, head or tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah. You, you buy a new phone. Can be working or not working. So think about these three situations. The focus question is what do you notice? They're all two options. Two outcomes only. Really. So the thing is, yeah, thank you. We are going to consider those outcomes. Success. Two possible outcomes. Success or failure, that's it. All right? Not that I really like the word success or failure, but it means that either on or off, work or not working, uh, flipping a coin is a head or tail. All right? It's named after a Swiss mathematician, Jacob Bernoulli. Jacob right. not Daniel. Jacob. <laughs> no, it is Daniel. No, it's not. It's Jacob just, uh, Bernoulli. So that, oh, okay, that's, that's another one that's to deal with Bernoulli equation for, uh, for fluid mechanics. All right, now. So this is just one Bernoulli that's more famous. A Bernoulli trial is a probability experiment. Hey, listen. With only two possible outcomes, success or failure which eat outcome having a fixed probability. Now, flipping a coin is half and half. <laughs> but switching on the light, it cannot be half and half because what's the chances of the light globe not working? 0.1%. Very, very, that means generally small. Yeah, it could be 0.1%. I don't know, actually. Yeah, it could be small. So that's only one or the other. So therefore, we can say that the outcomes are complements of each other, one or the other. Probability of P is probability of complement of P, all right? So we say that the probability of success is P, and the probability of failure is 1 minus P. And a lot of books refer to uh, 1 minus P as Q, all right? You can do that. So it's P, Q. So the terms success and failure are used to denote the probability of an event happening, and not for the literal meaning, all right? It's just happening or not happening, that's all that event. So, let's have a look at uh, the Bernoulli distribution. If x is a Bernoulli random variable, where x is a 0 or 1, where, when x equals 1 represents success, the thing happening on 0 represents failure. The same thing. Then the probability mass mm. function for x is given as px equals to x equals to... Uh, Probability P if x equals 1 success or 1 minus P when x equals 0. Alright? The probability P is between 0 and 1. And a Bernoulli distribution can be denoted by x with a little squiggle, Bernoulli, and that's the probability of uh, success in the bracket. So this, this is the one that you really need to know P or the complement of P, 1 minus P. That's it. Alright, now, whole thing. given that a probability mass function of this, a probability mass function of a Bernoulli distribution is that, the, val the table of values for, of, for the probability mass function could be written as if x equals to 0, which is not successful, is 1 minus p or q. Alright? 
when x is successful, that is p. So it's only p and 1 minus p a unique. Like I say, it's a unique case. On or off, happening or not happening, that's all. Alright? Probably a nice function. No. Example 1. Let's go to example 1. Determine with reasons whether each of the following situations would, would suitably model using a Bernoulli random variable. If so, define the random variable x. So if rolling a fair six-sided die and observing whether the number is number roll is prime. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six numbers. Prime number is two, three, and five. Correct? Non-prime is one, uh, four, and six. So is it is it a fair uh, is it a Bernoulli distribution? Yes. Can we model it? Because three and three. So therefore, yes. Two complementary events. Prime or uh, composite, all right? Prime or composite? So the word is composite, I didn't write it properly. Prime numbers or composite number? And then P equals to three over six, and the distribution the X, approximate, uh, whatever, squiggle, approximate? No, not approximate. Uh, the, the, the <coughs> random variable is denoted by B, Bernoulli, mm -hmm. and the probability is half. All right. Okay. So uh, is the number one complementary? Sorry. Like, yeah, number one is complementary. Is it complementary? Yeah. Complementary. Two, three, and five. Prime or composite? Wait, prime. So, so you'd write yeah. it as zero and one. Sorry. So would you write it as zero and one, where zero is like yeah. no, no prime? Uh, zero is. Uh, okay. Oh, and I think it's. Prime I haven't defined yet. Prime. Yeah. So you use. In yes. the notation x, but only half, you use the probability of yes, prime. Yes, probability. Okay. Probability of success. Yeah. I haven't defined whether it's success. I should have defined the probability success is prime number. Observe this prime number. All right? Yeah. Because we are observing whether the number is, the row is prime. So x is prime number. All right? So you don't, you don't write out the and mass the function. Sorry? You don't write out the mass nah, function. No, it's just... This is this is just an introduction for you to see whether you know what, yep. what how how to define right. situation. That's all. It's not not uh, not uh, crucial in the in my opinion anyway. Opening to a random page of four hundred page book and observing whether the page number is even. It has to be because it's odd and even only, right? So the probability is two hundred over four hundred. Four hundred page. Two hundred of them should be uh, even. And then finally, selecting three chocolates from a bag of ten chocolates, counting how many are flakes. No, no, no. That's not. Unless you know that inside the chocolate, uh, inside the bag, there's only flakes and Cadbury, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then you can say yes, it is. All right. But we don't know what is in the um, what is in the bag. It's not too complimentary. In bag. Unless you know that there's only two types of chocolates in there. Mm. No. Alright, example two. <coughs> the fair six sided coin is rolled. Let x be the discrete random variable that the uppermost face of the die is six. State the probability best function for x. Six. So now we are we don't six. I'm not gonna think about whether it's a prime or even or composite or 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 I just want one number three. three. One over six. So the probability of success in this case is one on six. What? One on six. One over six. The probability of not success is five or six, five or six failure. So it's either three or one. I'm sorry, it's either one over six for x equals one, because in that case, x is actually um, uh, whatever you call it, uh, uh, a successful. We we know that uppermost uh, the uppermost face of the die is three, and then the rest is five over six. Or Wait, so zero, not successful. Yep. Can you draw a table instead, or do you have to use the piecewise notation? Uh, when it says probably mass function, use this piecewise not notation, not a table, unless it asks you to do a table. Okay, but right. when will it ask you, like, what is the name for like a table? Is it like probability? Uh, like what I did just, uh, yeah, hang on. Table. Just table. It will just ask you to do a table, yep. Okay. Yeah. Table of values. Table of values. Yeah. Alright, now you can plot the probability histogram for x, it's just something like this. So it's only 2, 0 and 1. x axis is only 0 or 1. That's all. 
And then uh, one. The probability of one is one over six. The probability of uh, zero is five over yep. six. That means gambling is always. <laughs> yep. Gambling, you have a winner, you lose. Now, can you, <laughs> you so from this table, like, all right, you can you derive the expected value <laughs> of mu for a Bernoulli distribution? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's you can. It's just P. It's That's just right. P, Why? Yeah. Why is it just P? Because you can only well, zero times that will be zero. One times P is P. Yeah, so you're right because it's you're, you're looking at to find the expected value, you're looking at x times the probability of x plus the sum of x times the probability of x for all of them. So we've got two situations only 0 times 1 minus p plus 1 times p. Therefore, the expected value is just p. From there, you should be able to work out your uh, variance. Or sigma square. Mm. And what the expected value? So expected value of the mean. Could be right. Nice. Variance. Just so remember when you write in this notation, that is a probability of success. P is a probability of success. P squared minus P. Is it? Wait, what is the formula again? It's like E X minus E X squared. Is that? X minus mu. Oh, you know, but square. X minus the mu fast, square. The fast X minus mu square times uh, the probability. Yeah, X minus, so it's 1 minus P. Zero, the, yeah. uh, zero, 0 minus yeah, P zero square minus square. P. So X minus P, 0 minus P square times 1 minus P plus 1 minus P square times P. Alright? What's that shortcut thing? It's EX squared minus. So you need to know x minus mu square so the mean times is just p, the, the probability, the sum of that. Is that in the formula? Your uh, variance. Yeah, there's a formula for it. And I mean, once you work out the variance, the standard deviation is pretty straightforward. It's only yeah. square root of the variance. All right. I need to show you all this. I'm, I am not sure whether I've seen question that you'll be asked to derive that, but it's a the good idea to understand it. Important, you should know expected value is the sum of x times p probability of x. And the variance is sum of the x take away the expected value, the distance square. All right, times the, uh, times the probability, sum of that. Yeah. Later, I'll give you a summary page of this. So now, you know the expected value of a Bernoulli distribution is the same as the success, which is P. And then the um, variance is P times 1 minus P. All right, or PQ. All right, let's have a look at example three. Effective or not. <coughs> Last example. 12% of light bulbs produced by a manufacturer are found to be defective. Let x be the uh, <coughs> discrete random variable that a light bulb is defective. Can you construct a probability distribution table for x? All right, here I say probability distribution table. Zero. So x um, be zero the point eight. A uh, discrete random variable that light bulb is defective. So the success is it being defective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you know that's twelve percent. You can work out the other yeah. one. Right? One is twelve. So I normally in oh, this sort of situation yeah. I will always write down the distribution first. So that I know the probability of success is zero point one two. Alright? Always write down this distribution. It's worth writing down the distribution. Once you've done that, you can construct that. So if it is not defective, it's 0 0.88. If it's defective, it's 0 0.12. Then you can determine the expected value. 
and determine the uh, now it says that show how to determine you must give me the step you cannot just write down uh, ex equals 0 0.12 are you kidding yeah mate yeah So I just gotta you write. must show that you know how zero to use times x zero times a uh, probability of x, mm -hmm. alright? And then you can determine uh, the variance of x and turn the deviation of x. That's pretty straightforward. What's root of But anything to do with show, you have to show the use of uh, the formula. It's the root equal to zero point zero one. Just follow the thing that he just did. Yeah, discrete random variable. P. The expected value of x. The formula is in your formula sheet. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, dude. Oh, true. Sure. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Same so, thing. So. Yeah, it is. Same thing. So, you P. That's. I normally do write it down P. so that I know my, that that's what I'm looking yeah. for. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. work out that is zero point Which zero times it's zero point eight eight plus zero. One times zero point one two, therefore zero point one two. Sure. Whereas the next bit, you can just use the formula P Q, and then the other one is square root. That's it. All right. So this is pretty straightforward. This lesson, and the summary is all you need to know is here. The probability mass function of Bernoulli random variable x is that. If x equals to 1, it's successful, therefore it's p. If x equals to 0, it's 1 minus p. And then you can work out what? Uh, the probability should be between 0 and 1. You can work out the expected value, the variance, and the standard deviation. Yep. Wow.